So we have the arch of iota here that is going to right side. We have brachiocephalic artery and in the middle we have the common carotid that is left common carotid artery and the next one is called left subclavian artery. So these are the three important uh, art art arteries arising from the aortic arch. So we can just uh, use the mnemonics A, B, C and yes A, B, C's. So A for aorta. B for brachiocephalic, C for carotid, yes for subclavian. So now let's move further. This towards the right side. So we may think what may happen towards the right fourth arch as we have studied it is going to give rise to the right subclavian artery. So next in the fifth aortic arch on both the sides on, on the right as well as on the left it is going to regress that is it is completely going to disappear it is non-functional. Next coming to the sixth aortic arch here on the right side the sixth arch is going to disappear it's no more functional only in the left side it is going to be the functional part forming the very important artery let's see which is that artery so yes the sixth aortic arch on the left side as you see here it is going to form the ductus arteriosus as along with the descending aorta it is going to fuse with the descending aorta and it is going to form the pulmonary trunk called ductus arteriosus these ductus arteriosus trunk of a pulmonary artery as we know this pulmonary artery is going to supply the right and the left side of the lungs for the gaseous exchange and this is the important arteries that is we are going to study about the aortic arches so let's summarize there are the six aortic arches and the first aortic arch is going to give rise to the maxillary artery that is supplying few parts of the head neck and the uh, jaw portion the second aortic arch there are two arteries hyoidal arteries the one which is going to form, uh, mainly supply the pharynx and the stapedial artery is going to supply the stapes of our ears. So these are not the important or the major arteries which is going to regress having only little function here. The third is a major artery, third aortic arch is going to give rise to the common carotid arteries. So which is going to further divide into internal carotid artery and external carotid artery. So internal carotid artery is going to supply the brain and uh, the external carotid artery is going to supply the maxilla and the mandibles. So next we have the fourth aortic arch. So on the right side it is going to form the subclavian along with the seventh intersegmental artery. So on the right side the fusion of the fourth aortic arch and the seventh uh, intersegmental artery we have the right subclavian and on the left side we are going to get the major trunk that is aortic arch. So fifth aortic arch on both the left and right side is going to regress disappear. The sixth aortic arch on the right side disappear but on the left side it is going to form the ductus arteriosus which later give rise to the pulmonary trunk. I hope you have understood the concept. See you in the next video. Thank you.